Mm, what's up guys? This is the Brofoman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play Poland Lithuania. And in this episode, we're attacking the Swedish capital in Finland. This is the only city they've got, so their destruction will be the end of the Swedish Empire. And it will be absolved. Well absorbed, sorry. Into a greater, more powerful empire. Although it will expand our border with Russia, so I suspect we may get issues with them. Um but we better not we don't have to worry about that. Not for a while anyway. We have other strategic goals to deal with first. But yes, anyway. The reinforcing army is the one to worry about. Well, I say worry. They they are of a reasonable size. Um, and they are depleted, so they're not a huge worry. They should be coming in from the from over here somewhere. So let's just drop some guns. Let's okay, let's put a contingent to advance through the town, clear it, and keep some troops off to one side, acts a bit of a hedge. And all of our cavalry can stay outside of the town as well. Okay, so. bit too much a bit more than needed to clear the town well you guys can stay where you are spread our skirmishes out how it says they're gonna fire carcass shots gunners who are you are you engaging okay right don't shoot that way Put shells in on the ground here and just bounce them through the reinforcements. Get my cavalry out wide as well. Yeah, they're out of range of our artillery, but I'm kind of hoping that we can bounce shots. I just killed one. One horseman. Okay, must have break one infantry unit in the town. Okay, let's send them. Get some other howitzers to work on the unit that's digging in back here. The provincial cav general is moving back towards the reinforcements coming in. We may advance our reinforcement line just to prevent them from supporting the troops in the town. And let's get some of our artillery to actually shoot at who we want to shoot at. Or who we can shoot at now. One infantry unit to deal with that unit there. Everybody else. Sort of get here. How oh, it says limber up. Okay, infantry. Form up in the woods. So you may have to rush to the square. All my infantry deploy is going to deploy into squares. Oh, the enemy general. That's nice. Yeah, we're all in deployed into squares in the woods. That was a bit of a mistake, wasn't it? Because these, these are... You're trying to interrupt the flow of our reinforcements, but it's not going to help you. So you may inter you may intercept our infantry reinforcements partially, but we've still got an awful lot of stuff coming through the back. 
Okay, shattered, broken. Burns at speed. Okay, they've dealt with these units. Just push up and keep pressure on. I've done a lot of damage to one of my infantry units, but it's not going to be enough to save your sword of little empire. Not left behind. Are you reloaded? No, you're not reloaded. Eichmann are coming in. Shoot her! Dropping squares across the board. Cavalry did attack the pikemen as well. Charge the original horse. This unit just stay back is just as reinforcement. One man winning slight man winning slightly but then but they're um wavering. Get out of the square and charge them. Warm our line. And you guys get out of the square. Right up into their faces. Cavalry swoop around the back. I mean, I have not used my cavalry at all. Ooh, more pikemen. There we go. You've got some men working their way around the flank. I think that, think that is going to be it, actually. Speed up time. You're going to just go after these Sakers. And then it's just this provincial cav unit out of the back. Everybody else. Don't need to worry about them. Red of horse. If they keep running, they're just going to run into our battle line, so I wouldn't keep doing that if I were you. Nice. But yeah, that's the end of the Swedish Empire. One more faction destroyed, one more region secured for Poland. Let's repair the government building. Try and start replenishing our troops. Get our agent to push up towards St. Petersburg. I think, though, for the most part, that's everything we really want to do. You can't reach Cologne. We're laying siege to the gar to the um, garrison of Amsterdam, and we are laying siege to French territory in America. But there's not a huge amount we can do about that. They're going to Sally next turn, so I'm happy to let them do that. 
Let's head in turn and provoke the sally. More troops are marching down towards Ankara, but we don't have enough money to pursue everything we want at the same time. France demands peace with technology. No. There we go. Garrison in Niagara. It's going to try and break the siege. Let's see if that works or not. We've got plenty of artillery. The enemy is a traditional colonial army. So there's colonial troops plus militia plus a bit of infantry here and there. But it's mostly more regular troops. Which when you've got really advanced proper battlefield armies like we have. They're not a huge problem. I mean you can't, you know, get um, complacent. But they aren't the dangerous, they aren't as lethal as some of the uh, armies that we see in Europe. Okay, let's do... Something like this, where we just kind of chop our line up into sections. We've still got one gun team, but they can stay back here firing over our heads. Same with howitzers. Militia and pikemen on the flat area. My buccaneers on the sloped area. Low cavalry on the sloped area. Lance on the flat area. Weak cavalry, just chill out. just my oh yeah this is what I want but bear in mind their enemy troops are their enemy skirmishes are hidden somewhere they like to have down here Artillery would start picking off some of their infantry. Okay. My gunner that's firing can still keep engaging the enemy artillery. Need mortars. Only on light cavalry advancing. This is why we've got our light man. Get out of how it's actually start picking off one section of them, start picking off the enemy cavalry. We've destroyed one mortar team. Some of their native warriors. There we go. Pirates, draw your pistols. That's a few kills. Same with you guys. Draw your pistols. Need to watch out, my cavalry is going to get attacked. And soon, clone your light, go for their clone your light. Back to map with one unit. Pirates, push forward. Cavalry. Let the native warrior auxiliary continue to be shot. I need to bring my 
poking them out, which will be your lances. I don't want you engaged in consistent combat. Hands to shot the center. For more to garrison unit, where's my 12 pound a foot at the back? Engage a unit of Hessian line. We need to stay mobile away from the enemy. Okay, bring my pike in the back. Might bring my reserve infantry into the action here. So I just run them. Get this action. Bring my light cab up here to try to help support my buccaneers. Okay, I'm gonna try to run my lances and just smash them through my lines. Auxiliaries, they're going to be hit by carcass shot. Now it says both fire round shot against the colonial line here. Might introduce some friendly fire here, but we have to risk it. Light cavalry is going to hit that Hessian line unit. Switch to round shot for my other gun. Just hammer shots down into this large block of men. Light power holding up the Hessian line. Now here comes some buccaneers. Maybe native troops are bashed into our front line. Holes are holding firm. They've broken. The enemy has been pushed into one area. Let's just retarget everybody. Because right now it's an awful lot of friendly fire going on. That general's bodyguard. Look, we got him. There we go. Surrounded and destroyed the garrison. Nice. Beautiful. All curled up into one area. Generals probably don't want to get that many kills, but kind of 
This is a really good general, so let's just give him a shot. Actually, try go for that unicolonial line by yourself. Escaped. I go play unit of militia. Cause there's only two guys. Nice. So I think, well, yeah, that will be Niagara brought into our empire. So that's another city taken. Well, maybe it won't be. No, it should be. They only had one turn left to uh, surrender. <laughs> we fought this so plenty of times before. Amsterdam is ours. The Dutch are finally destroyed. So we're going to have to spend some time bringing them on side. Uh, the Ottomans are likely to continue to be a threat. Gathering their strength and advancing towards us. Okay, we're going to need to deal with them. I think Connie's preachers are causing problems. But we will not anger them. Not while we have other enemies to contend with. We have a lot to be getting on with. Okay. Uh, no peace for you, Hessen. Your rebels came in and stole our territory when we were going to take it. I'm not going to let that stand. No, sir. Okay. She needs you up here to start dealing with these damn priests. New town emerges. Homiel in Belarus. Excellent. More tax base. That's enough of that. We don't need a homage to the Netherlands. They are gone. Benito. Get rid of the Utrecht College. Let's get rebuilding our city. Everybody's replenished. Good. They don't like us. Once we destroy the school, that will fix that problem entirely. Let's not spend anything here, because the French are still are here, ready to cause problems. Okay, Stanislav. Lay siege to the city and just hold on to it. Again, I am okay with Saxony coming in and taking it. Okay, Denmark. Got a population state. Poznan's upgraded their, their um, industry building. So we did get Niagara. So it's time to get a magistrate, dirt roads, get Pavel to be reinforced. We'll try to build the fur trapper, but the French might have problems with that. Um, hmm. Ultimately, it might not be a, a terrible time. See, friends, why don't we chill out? Let's try trade. No, they don't, certainly don't want to trade with us. But then we can we can um, bolster this flank freely. We're not that bothered about. Well, we've taken a lot of the French territories. I mean, these are New Orleans. That's French. Fort Nashwack is French, but we're not. Not bother. Don't worry about taking them. Let's kind of solidify our hold on North America for now. Focus on attacking into Ankara. So you men get into Istanbul and pop through and out. Oops. Okay, upgrade you. Upgrade you. A 
upgrade our military production in the Middle East quite strongly. So you need to reinforce this force under Dominic Thingamajig. Let's go smash this Ottoman force right in front of us. Yeah, I think the focus on our campaign in the short term should be expanding in the Middle East and destroying the Ottomans. They are our historical enemy in a narrative sense and in a real sense, you know, about 300 years ago or so. But yeah, let's go secure Jerusalem, Baghdad. Effectively, let's try and see if we can just destroy the entire Ottoman faction. That would be quite nice. The, the, the winged hussars have ridden, the la ridden for the last time against the Ottoman Empire because the Ottoman Empire will be crushed beneath their mighty hooves. Okay, gunners, occupy high ground, open fire on whatever targets you see fit. My line, advance forward. Little big block, skirmishes, grenadiers, all the left. Let's make our mighty cavalry block on the right. With our winged hussars. So, so beautiful. Love them. Yeah, they might get their charge off in time. Or not. 38th might have something to say about that. They do. Sure, our Traban cavalry are fireable off. Oh, I hear a cavalry charge. Range of Sars, deal with the camel nomads. If they even make it. Oh, hello. Send the mercenaries into the fight as well. The bank cover we're in. Deadly horsemen are here. Marines, engage those horsemen. Oh wait, that's, that's gonna be it. <laughs> Nearly. Giants three musketeers are still alive, but they're being pounded by artillery. Still, the lancers, the winged hussars, Traban cavalry. Ride them down like dogs. Marines can deal with the Delhi horsemen. Mercenaries up onto the hill. Kill the enemy general. I think that's it. I think that's everybody. No, they're 
Deadly Horseman. Get my general in against them, although that might be what they want. Lure us into a trap. Sure, my general will probably be fine. Tittery. He's fine. Yeah, they try to chase down the Deadly Horseman. Minion Archers. Let my winged Sars charge in against them. Fresh, we are tired. However, these, these first wing of chaps are going to go down. That's right, Trumpeter. Keep those notes singing. Okay, let's see if I can get. Come back and deal with those Kurdish hillmen. Kurdish? Yeah, Kurdish hillmen. Yeah, everybody's just gonna just. Okay, you can cease fire. Yeah, we are gonna continue. Just because, where's my Trabant Cavalry? They're still engaged, they are. Or at least they were. Try help the Lancers, try help the this Cavalry, because the, the units in the corner are going to definitely escape. So let's try to focus on the ones we can kill. them up. Come on, there's one guy left. Ouch. Nice. Some good kills. It's another large force defeated en route trying to uh, liberate this territory. So push up to the push up to this um, valley. You're going to swing down and attack here and force them east. Here in the city themselves, they are going to recruit some infantry to bolster the garrison. And we're going to demolish the college. We don't need it. Okay, apart from that, I think everything's looking okay. Still a few turns before we have to worry about any technology, although Utrecht and Konya are both going to be demolished. Surgeon, plus 10% to recovery chance of battle casualties. You didn't even fight in that battle, it was all Dominic. Oh well. We need to be prepared to fight against the Russians, because they've done it before, they've broken an alliance with us. Uh, you're demanding fire by rank? Absolutely not. Never giving that technology away. Hmm, Spain is sending more captain gauges towards us, that's quite useful. Thirteen colonies, agents still causing us trouble. The Iroquois could go for us, but that's kind of why I want to be build up the territory's government building a little bit, so we can go east and attack them. We can't fortify all of the towns in America. Uh, ooh, the garrison's going to Sally. Very well, let's do this. See, if you just gave up, if you just didn't 
steal our territory while we were taking it. None of this would be happening. You want to be free, you want to be independent, not anymore. You're part of the Polish Empire now. But yeah, they've got plenty of mortars, so we're going to deploy back, rely on overwhelming firepower. Uh, and this stupendous bit of high ground. This is really tasty. A little bit of that. And probably going to extend a bit of a line along the high ground. Because you want them to be forced into constantly trying to assault uphill towards us. My enormous cavalry force is probably going to stay on the plains. One of my cavalry units is going to storm forward with all the speed. And that could actually cause some complications. Particularly if they go going for my artillery. So the third regiment of horse, actually I might need a bit more. It might be a whole cavalry force effort. Sweep these up plus survive. The problem is they fire very quickly as well. I have very I do not have high hopes for this gun team. guns can do is focus on the other enemy units that are nearby, try to do some damage to them, kind of slow them up. Okay, we might actually, okay, we, we might be able to get their mortars before their infantry can actually get to us and stop us. This is a raid rather than a proper, yeah, we can do it. now but it doesn't matter it's going to be too late. Okay I'll attack that last field regiment. So both the other guns are shattered so they're not coming back. Draw my other cavalry. They appear to not be interested in saving them. There we go. In which case, you men run as well. Now they're starting to shoot at us, but that's far too late. Four cavalrymen. But we've wiped out their artillery. Those are some pretty good outcomes. Let's maybe get my general's bodyguard right up on the tippy top of the hill. So we've still got, there is still one gun, although actually, probably run general over here to deal with them.
this regiment of horse is tired and they've done stupendous work. We have another job for you. And you will make your way across the battlefield before you risk being engaged. So when the time comes we're going to swing these guys up like so. Actually I might even bring a Dragoon, a dragoon unit up here. Excellent artillery targets for us. Focus your fire. Now, men, make ready and engage. As the volleys come thrashing in. Hits. Oh, very good hit. Smash right into them there. Shattered and shattered. Blaster. Get to charge my irregulars. Pikemen. Ready to get ready to push them back. So run my skirmishes back, push my pike forward. Steady, shaken. Bang that militia unit. Okay, swing all of this infantry around. If they want to try and bayonet charge us, they can. The general's bodyguards after us. Other cavalry units go after the light unit. Bring my pikemen down here. We don't need any support. We don't need to help them on the pushing back the center of their line. They're going to fall back anyway. This is probably going to be enough to take to kill this general's bodyguard, which is exactly what we want. Push forward. Kill a bunch of them. There's been some friendly fire there. Grenadiers, push around, help out wide. Cavalry, you men, push forward, take the ground. Oh, you weren't even firing. My bad. Ok, 
killed their general. The provincial line understandably broken under concentrated pike movement. So actually you guys can just stay back. It's all up to this unit. It's been blanked by grenadiers. Yeah, they're done for as well. Could chase them, but more than happy just to sit here and do lots of damage to them. And suddenly come back. Some militia are flanked by pikes. There we go. Good kills, good kills. Happy. I'm happy just to keep sieging this territory. We've got peace with France. We don't have to worry about anybody else coming in and trying to steal this territory from under our nose. Okay, right. Let's. No, the next stage is. A rake in Ukraine. Okay, let's keep a rake. Let's try and infiltrate in Moscow. Or let's stay near stay near Moscow rather than infiltrate. Alborg in Denmark. Great. Okay, let's drop a farm upgrade or two when we see them. We just can't spend all of our money on farms every turn. We don't necessarily need we're not necessarily worrying about um, maximizing our, our town growth because we've already got pretty good town growth as it is. Just keep upgrading military buildings in Quebec. And now we can upgrade the farms here because in Niagara, if we're not the French, are no longer our enemy. Ten turns till the next town is developed. I get my priest up in Canada, just get my rake up here as well. We want to start trying to kill some of these ministers. Okay. Solid core of infantry. Let's get rid of... there we go. Then that army will be done in two turns. Full strength, pretty good army as well. Let's fortify Vilnius, because that's probably a potential threat axis if Russia goes for us. Uh, you just auto resolve killing that army. Bravo, march. Sitting Kayseri. Konya, let's become a church school. Actually, let's recruit, let's build a few church schools. You're probably going to well, you are going to smack into them at the last minute, push them east because they're already, yeah, depleted. So you're here. I don't know. I don't think you're going to actually try and push the territory. So we can't afford to leave this territory. Let's maybe deploy one militia unit back as a garrison. This force can advance towards Yerevan. So this, uh, this, these two armies will clear this force up and then be able to push south towards Damascus pretty well. Popular hero, Stanislav. I, th I would have thought so because you're just a beast. Plus four to morale, minus one to command. The Netherlands have rioted, but now they're okay. Let's build a coaching in. Build the weaver's cottage. Uh, repair the weaver's cottage, I should say. Let's bring a light galley over to garrison Rotterdam. 
Let's check to see if we have any more opportunities for trade. In France, won't trade with us. Nope. That's everything for now. Okay. But yeah, if you want to come and take this territory from us, although to be honest, we might just take it because their garrison's destroyed. So understandably they hate us, but we'll probably do the same thing when we get rid of the college. So they're minus eight. Getting rid of the university will bring them down to positive two immediately. So that's pretty good. But we have our foothold um, on the River Rhine. We could start sending rakes towards Paris just to get advanced knowledge of what their intentions are. Yep. Vine lands a fine land once more. Okay, let's hit end turn. British are keeping the sea lanes clear. Very nice of them. It's only a matter of time before the enemy brings war to our doorsteps again. But, uh, yeah, I think Austria hates the fact that they're in alliance with me and they don't want to break it. <laughs> well, they can't break it. Because right now they are just constantly in trouble. Yeah, we're slowly pushing them out. The Marathas, see, they... We were going to we were going to invade your part of the world, but you know what? If we if we can make an alliance with them, that will prevent them, or make it less likely that they will attack our islands and colonial holdings. Let's bring them into an alliance. Probably not going to go for Ceylon again after my last big enormous failure <laughs> at not resolving my uh, notifications before ending the episode or at least before getting into a battle that would cause me to end the episode that was a big mistake on my part workers on strike in Rhineland but now they're fine now the government building we build the fortifications let's build the church school here let's just upgrade their industry across the board because Rhineland or Cologne can be quite a valuable region lots of towns We don't have to worry about upgrading the military production in Amsterdam yet. New town emerges, Kerch and Crimea. Let's give them a craft workshop. Okay. And after that, Reykjavik is will be fully upgraded. Kuwait okay, states. Okay. Oh, that was you. Yeah, I'm just going to spend a good chunk of change upgrading the economy of our empire. Can't upgrade the roads. Where's my ring? Yeah, that minister is working his way this way. But we're going to be chasing him now by the looks of it. Back to the Middle East. Push up the coast. You're not going to move. Just replenish what you can. You storm towards Yerevan. Okay, so you've got election results. A lot of good ministers. No real problems there. No tech on the horizon. No, no fire by rank. Why would I want your? Why would I want military access through you anyway, Britain? What territory do you have access to that I need to move through your territory? <laughs> the Ottomans are continuing on their incessant. An obsession with trying to take back their territory. It's not going to happen.
We're soon going to have a land border with Georgia. Hopefully it doesn't cause any issues. See, that Ven Venetian army has just been sat out in the sea for a while now. They don't really seem to want to do things with it. Catholic missionary in Denmark. That's not bad, because they are mostly Protestants. Okay, let's get you up to Sweden first. Bolster the conversion there. New town emerges in Galician Podolia. Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy is going to... Ooh, household cavalry. Give me a rocket troop. Makes me good. Howitzers. In Kiev, because you can't recruit too many of those things. Let's get... Something like that. Nice. Okay, keep the economy rolling. If we want to keep expanding our forces massively, we need to keep on boosting our economy. Okay, so you... Okay, first of all, you're going to just keep pushing up along the coast. And a farm. We are going to eventually push down the coast towards Damascus. You know, I'm tempted to build loads of church schools. <laughs> I say tempted. I am going to build lots of church schools. Anybody at Yerevan? Nope. Territory is ours. Fortify it. Okay, you probably don't need to build church schools everywhere. Let's give us a front line with Persia as well, so we might want to try and do some... No, we're very friendly. Okay, let's take this army, push them up, and attack Yunus Mimis. However, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of yet another Ottoman army. Cheers everyone.